Hello. A couple of days ago, my Instagram Explore page introduced me to a photographer. His name is Tino Renato, and the post that was shown to me was his Fuji recipe. I had been looking for a new recipe, something that's a little light in terms of mood and the colors, and this was perfect. I loved how natural it looked, and some of the colors, the red and the green, they were also popping out of the pictures. Me being a Kodak heavy person when it comes to film photography, this seemed like a really good opportunity to experience what the Fuji C200 is like. I'm going to link the recipe in the description, but this recipe is solid. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Just like the recipes that I create, I wanted to test this out under three different circumstances. Indoor, outdoor, and at night. I wish I took a side-by-side -side comparison picture to show you how this recipe looks compared to my current everyday settings. First impression, very clean, very warm. I loved it. Aside from the recipe, looking at the photo itself, if you look ahead, you're able to see an outdoor seating back there. Because of the way the sunlight was hitting that area, and also because of the framing of the door, I really wanted to photograph someone sitting there drinking their coffee. Somebody did eventually sit there, but I also had someone else sit a few tables away from me. So the view was blocked, but at least I know I can come back here next time and try to get the framed picture. Another thing I wanted to achieve here was to take some outdoor photos. As you saw in the very beginning, this place has a little bit of outdoor seating. The orange bench against the green tiles, the colors, especially in the sun, they're beautiful. The last few times I was here without my camera, I saw someone painting outside the windows that kind of scene, I know it's not something we see every day, but that's what I was hoping to get, something that's a little unique. But instead, I got a dog. Something I didn't think about. If you look at the left side, you'll see a reflection of a guy reading. I'm always interested in getting creative and unique reflection shots, although the guy in the reflection was not the main focus of this photo, this gave me another photo idea to try the next time I'm here with the camera. For the outdoor portion of this video, I went to the Griffith Observatory. Griffith Obser Observa Observatory. I'm just going to call it the Observatory. A few videos ago, not even a few, maybe 10-15 videos ago, I took my Rico to Echo Park one time, and there I took a few photos where I purposely put my shadow in the frame with everyone else. I wanted to try that again. So for example, having the prior experience, I wanted to play around with some shadow selfies. Here, I framed myself against a clean wall, and I waited for some people to walk by. But something I didn't think about was having someone else's side profile to match me. This person in a hat, it almost seems like we're walking together in the same direction. But I think what really makes this is this person in red headless. This recipe picks up the color red so well that you're gonna see some red only pictures in a little bit. But here's something that I truly love about this recipe. It feels very nostalgic. 
The colors here. Based on the video, we know the walls are white. But because of the film simulation and white balance settings and everything else, it looks like something my parents would have taken in the 80s and 90s. Also, replace the person on the left with my dad holding his Minolta camera, and the right with my mom. I mean, anyone's parents too or your siblings. I'm sure there are some photos like this that you took on film in the past. Similar to the previous picture of the two girls, I would have been slated to be in the white area. I wanted her to be in the middle. I was waiting for a little bit, she didn't move, and this is when I realized, since when does my subject have to come to me, when I can also go to them? So I started walking towards her and I got the photos that I was waiting for. This is a random photo that I took after the observatory on my way to a bookstore. These two people holding their hand and also seeing this little bit of light in front of them. I had to get a picture of their hands in the sun. The position of the hands moved a little bit, but this kind of photo is something I've been wanting to take for the longest time. I'm glad I was able to capture it and even though you're not able to see the hands completely in this close-up picture, I'm very happy about it. For the last portion of the video, I wanted to take some nighttime photos. But it might have been because of all the excitement that I got during the day with all the new photos. I was just happy to call it a day. I went for a little walk just to see what the recipe looks like at night. Quick note, I didn't take enough photos at night to justify that. So I might have to do another video focusing on nighttime photos. 